Welcome to Print Expository YouTube channel. In this video, we will learn about superparametric elements, superparametric elements, and subparametric elements. Isoparametric element. Generally, it is very difficult to represent the curved boundaries by straight edge elements. A large number of elements may be used to obtain reasonable resemblance between original body and the assemblage. In order to overcome this drawback, isoparametric elements are used. In the figure that is shown in this slide, you can see the dots indicate nodes used for defining geometry and small triangle indicates nodes used for defining displacements. If the number of nodes used for defining the geometry is same as number of nodes used for defining the displacements, then it is known as isoparametric element. Superparametric element. If the number of nodes used for defining the geometry is more than number of nodes used for defining the displacements, then it is known as superparametric elements. Here, nodes used for defining geometry are more than nodes used for defining displacements. Subparametric elements. If the number of nodes used for defining the geometry is less than number of nodes used for defining the displacements, then it is known as subparametric element. Here, number of nodes used for defining geometry is less when compared to number of nodes used for defining the displacements.